Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hoven from Ramos Law and your host for Health Matters. Today, we're going to follow that YouTube sensation that people are watching and wanting to know what it's all about, Chinese cupping. We're going to go through it and tell you how it works. So let's go at it right now. I remember a couple of Olympics back when swimmer Michael Phelps showed up to the pool and he had all these marks on him that they were, they looked like bruises and they were on his back and everybody is, what is Michael Phelps doing? And it turned out to be what he had been doing was cupping and cupping basically in Chinese medicine involves taking something like this. Now this happens to be a non-latex version of a cup made by rock tape. So this is really cool. And you take this cup <clears throat> and you simply place it on your skin. And then, well, once I place it on good skin here, you place this on your skin and then it stays there so that now we can manipulate that skin and create a lifting effect. So essentially what happens is this, when you put the, the apparatus on the skin and they don't all work like this, they don't all suction and then pop. Sometimes they have a little, they're, they're plastic or glass and they'll set on the body area and then the provider or the technician or the, the artist, if you will, the body artist is gonna pull air out of, the, out of those tubes or out of those um, cups and that's gonna create all that oxygen is gonna create a sucking. Another way that they can do it really, really old school throwback way is in Chinese medicine is they will take this stuff called moxa and they light it on fire and then they put it in the cup and that takes out all of the oxygen and then right before they put it on the skin, they pull that moxa out, drop the cup on and then that sticks to your skin. So the thought behind it, so that's what it is. Now how it works is a couple different uh, thoughts. In the Chinese medicine world, in part what cupping is doing is it's releasing stagnation from inside the system. And that's why you'll see this blood or this bruising because it's pulling it up out of the surface. Now from a more Western or, um, you know, we'll call a not ancient version of what happens is we're taking that lifting, that mechanical lifting, and that's stimulating all kinds of nerves that go to the brain. And the brain is now saying something's going on out here. Well, then you can manipulate those cups. You can twist them really quick. Like the, the technique that, that I always use is I'll take the different cups, depending on where I place them, and I'll twist them, and then I'll move them back and forth, and then I'll change directions and move them in different, um, just different fashions. And by doing that for about 90 seconds in the way that I apply it, it creates a ton of information going to the brain. It does lift out some of the metabolic uh, products, waste products, so that it does create that bruising and it gets fabulous results. So uh, if you have questions about cupping, a couple things you can do. You're certainly more than welcome to reach out to me, jim at ramoslaw.com, or you can go to your healthcare provider, someone that knows about cupping, does cupping, and see if it might be helpful for you because after a trauma or a situation like that, cupping is one of the things that can really help with pain alleviation and just making sure that you get better faster. So if you like the video, please share this and um, we hope to answer any questions that you have. Again, jim at ramoslaw.com. And so until next time, remember, your health matters.